right, soldier? Yes, sir. Whoever said a dog is man's best friend sure knew what he was talking about. That a fancy wouldn't agree. Take care, O'Hara. Call off your dog, Rusty. Shoot, Lieutenant. Bring Tim Tim this mess. Good boy, Rennie. But you gotta be more careful who you're going around chewing on. A fancy's are poison. Well, I hope that dispatch you're carrying was important enough to risk your neck for. I wouldn't know, sir. It's addressed to Major Swanson. Well, maybe it'll explain what these Apaches were up to. In fact, I only know one Apache crazy mad enough to pull a stunt like this, right at the gates of an army post. But, sir, would he lead his men this far north? He'd lead them into the White House, soldier, if he felt like it. Who, Lieutenant? Geronimo. Geronimo? Who is your chief? White soldier speak too much brave when Apache no use hands. I, Zorak, say this. I have no talk for coward white men who let dark do his fighting. Then I, Master, speak this. You're free to go and tell me nothing if I can't whip an Apache by myself. Hold Rennie back, Rusty. Yes, sir, Lieutenant. Let him go. brave warrior, worthy enemy, me, Zorak, blood brother to Geronimo, who soon come to save blood brother from white eyes. Good, we'll have a party when he comes. Let's get into the fort. Gee, you are swell, Lieutenant. You and Rennie weren't so bad yourselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why didn't I get this sooner? I was delayed, sir. Apaches were trailing me. I had to move by night. Dismissed. What is it, sir? Geronimo? Worse. Colonel Barker is coming to inspect the post. Barker? The last time I saw him, I got seven days in the guardhouse because my boots weren't shined. He's a great soldier, O'Hara. Yes, sir. That explains why Geronimo's in the territory, sir. You know, he's never forgotten that beating Colonel Barker gave him at the Rio Grande. Great jumping Jehoshaphat. We'll all be drawn on quarters, sir. What are you talking about now, O'Hara? Rusty and Ren Tin Tin. What happens when Colonel Barker finds them here on the post? O'Hara's right, sir. It's strictly against regulations. He'll never understand about those two. Why they came here in the first place and why we let them stay on. Well, maybe he would, sir. Maybe if we told him how we found them three years ago. Just a pair of babes in arms. The only thing left living after that wagon train massacre, sir. Just two little orphans. Stop it, O'Hara. You're breaking my heart. Maybe if we told them how we, how we reared them, nursed them, fed Rinty out of a bottle. O'Hara. Yes, sir? Colonel Barker is not a sentimental man. No, sir. You'll have to get that dog and that boy out of Fort Apache until Barker's gone. Yes, sir, but how, sir? You'll devise ways and means. Yes, uh, ways, uh, ways and means, yes, sir. And, Lieutenant, make certain that Sergeant O'Hara carries out his orders with a minimum of poetry and tears. Yes, sir. How long do we have, sir? Well, I should have gotten that dispatch two days ago. As it is, Colonel Barker will be here today. Oh. That's all? Yes, sir. Now, Lieutenant, prepare the men for a spit and polish inspection. Yes, sir. Dismissed. Attention! Attention! You're all ready! Detail! All! About! Five! Forward! March! Detail! All! Attention! Detail! 
ten minute break. But how am I going to get rid of Rusty and Ren 1010? Major Swanson doesn't care how you do it, just so you do it. But I just can't take him out and dump him someplace. You heard the order, Sergeant. Get that boy and that dog out of Fort Apache. Snap into it. Yes, sir. All right, Rusty! All right, Rusty! If I hadn't heard it, I never would have believed it. All right. Would you really? What have we done to make him kick us off the post? Aren't we good soldiers? Don't we do our duty? Our two best friends, ripping O'Hara up, kicking us out. Where could we go? We don't own any place for Apache. We'll hide out. That's what we'll do. We'll sneak food out of the mess hall and just hang around out of sight until we're old enough to enlist. Then they can't kick us out. Come on, baby. All right, Rusty! All right, Rusty! Oh, Rusty! O'Hara! Haven't you hidden Rusty or Rennie yet? Hidden them? I can't even find them, sir. You can't find them! O'Hara, oh, sometimes I... Oh, never mind. Rusty! 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 With Geronimo on the loose, you think Rennie. soldiers would have more to do than the hunt for us. Rusty! Rusty! Stop, Rennie! Rusty! Would you be so good as to explain what you're doing in there and why you don't come when you're called? Did you hear us? We heard you. And we heard you and O'Hara figuring out how you were going to get rid of us. Oh, you heard it all wrong, Rusty. Now, that's what happens when you only hear one side of a story. And you weren't going to kick us out? Of course not. You see, Colonel Barker's coming to inspect the post. And he wouldn't like it if he found a boy and a dog here. We just wanted to keep you out of his sight. Then we could keep you here with us forever. Oh, Rip! Lieutenant Masters! Lieutenant, Colonel Barker's party is approaching the fort. Now you do have to hide, Rusty, both of you. Now stay out of his way. That's an order, soldier. Yes, sir. Your men look like soldiers and act like soldiers. Well, thank you, Colonel. With the exception of that fellow whose indifferently polished belt buckle is a disgrace to the profession of soldiery. I suggest you make an example of him. Seven days in the guardhouse. Yes, sir. Discipline makes men, men make soldiers. Yes, sir. I think I'll inspect the stables first. Get Rusty and Rennie out of that stable. Yes, sir. Right away. Now, uh, Sergeant O'Hara, uh, am I out of my mind, or was Sergeant O'Hara behind me? I don't see him, sir. Well, neither do I. That's very strange. Yes, sir. Rusty, ready. Barker's coming. Let's get to the barracks. On the double, boy. Come on, Rennie. Come on, Rennie. Come on, Rennie. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> Oh, Colonel, wouldn't you prefer...
prefer to inspect the enlisted men's barracks first. Very good, Major. Carry on with your other duties, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Seven days in the guardhouse for a dirty belt buckle. For what I'm doing, life. Sergeant O'Hara, the vanishing Irishman. Beg pardon, sir? You appear and disappear so easily, you should be a very difficult target for Geronimo to hit. Thank you, sir. Give us attention, Sergeant! <clears throat> yes, sir. I have never seen such a flagrant case of disrespect to a superior officer. Why, Private O'Hara, why did you sit down? Well, sir, you, you, you see, sir, my, uh, my feet hurt, sir. His feet hurt? Really, Major, this man is an absolute moron. <laughs> what was that, O'Hara? <coughs> I, uh, I must have caught cold, sir. Is your uh, footlocker as empty as your head, O'Hara? No, sir. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, yes, sir. Open it up, O'Hara. This should prove most interesting. Uh, open it up. Yes, sir. Colonel Barker. Yes, Lieutenant. Three of Geronimo's braves have entered the fort under a flag of truce, sir. They want to speak to you at once, sir. Very well. I'll deal with you later. Where's Rusty? That was close. Too close. Where's Rennie? O'Hara? O'Hara was a hero, Lieutenant. He fought a delaying action all by himself. Against terrible odds. Well, all right. Now you better retreat. Look, take Rusty and Wren off the post. They can stay with Corporal Dolan's family at Salt River till Barker's gone. Yes, sir. Come to think of it, you better stay there yourself. Yes, sir. Come on, Rennie. <laughs> Speak. These are the words of Geronimo. You will release his blood brother, Zorak. For while his blood brother is captive, Geronimo's soul is not free. If Geronimo wants Zorak, let him come to Fort Apache and smoke the pipe of peace. Geronimo will meet you and five of your soldiers at Split Rock before the sun leaves the sky. If his blood brother is with you, Geronimo will smoke the pipe of peace. What do you think? Could be a trap, sir. Geronimo still wants your scalp. On the other hand, it might be worth taking a chance just to rid the territory of that old cutthroat. It is agreed. Ha! face an Apache any day than him. We'll be safe in Salt River. Yeah, it's only an hour's ride after we get to Split Rock. How far is Split Rock? We ought to see it right after we get around the next bend. <laughs> Zorak. Copy. We cannot betray our positions for a man that 
boy and the dog. There's Flint Rock up ahead, Colonel. We await the command of Geronimo. Geronimo has waited a long time for this day when Colonel Barker dies. There's Colonel Barker. Let's get out of here. Wait a minute. Look at Rennie. Something's wrong. I'll say it is. If the Colonel finds you and Rennie with me, we're in trouble. It's worse than that. What? Look. Too long. We must not risk the death of my blood brother. Let them come closer. It's an ambush. They've seen us. Why don't they shoot? They don't want us. They want Colonel Barker. We got a warning. No. If we take a shot, the Apaches will start shooting. There's only six men down there. They couldn't stand off an attack. Rennie can get to Fort Apache. We can get to Colonel Barker, maybe. Rennie, listen. Go get Masters. Bring him here, Rennie. Bring Masters here. Uh, it's now or never, Rusty. Yo, Rennie! back here that way. He wants us to follow him. Man of patrol! Pretty soon now, sir. Soldiers, where would they come from? That's what I've been trying to tell you, sir. Ren Tin Tin come to help. Ren Tin Tin. Who is Ren Tin Tin? <laughs>
end of an army is this anyway. First a boy warns us of an ambush, and then a dog leads a patrol to the rescue. How did he get here? Colonel Barker, sir? Meet Ren Tin Tin. Geronimo has left the territory. Not because we beat him in a skirmish, but because we still hold Zorak as a hostage. Once again, the fighting blue devils of the 101st Cavalry are to be commended for bravery in action. However, I hold all you men responsible for breaking army rules and conspiring to conceal evidence from a superior officer. I refer, of course, to the presence of a boy and a dog living on this post in direct violation of orders. Lieutenant Masters, bring the boy and the dog forward. Rusty and Rin Tin Tin, front and center. I am aware that without your heroic actions, the lives of myself, Major Swanson, and four other men would have been lost. However, there is no place on an army post for civilians, however heroic. Therefore, from this day forward, you, Rusty, and you, Rin Tin Tin, are no longer civilians. Because of your extraordinary bravery and intelligence, you have earned the titles of Honorary Corporal Rusty and Honorary Private Rin Tin Tin, soldiers of the United States Company. Your attention! Corporal Rusty? Yes, sir? You may dismiss the company. Yes, sir! Company, yes, sir! <laughs> So you made caught huh? You won't have to hide now, Rusty. Carry on, soldiers. For more action, thrills, and high adventure, be sure to join Rin Tin Tin, Rusty, and Lieutenant Rip Masters again next week. When Rin Tin Tin faces the fury of a wild stallion's flashing feet, rescues Rusty in a death-defying leap for life, only to be trapped by the terror of nature's most violent display of destruction as they fight the inferno of the flaming forest in another exciting story from The Adventures of Rin Tin Tin.